chief uh, medical officer with the U.S. Postal Service. He's a friend of mine. And uh, I was a little jealous. Well, that, that has always been a sore spot. We have to start somewhere. Right. <laughs> Okay, and 95% uh, <clears throat> of your employees at every one time, they work every day. And when this results, they have a tendency to have problems of getting annual leave, uh, picking up where the other employee isn't carrying his share of the load. Mm -hmm. And this becomes a morale problem. That's an employee. If that employee goes on compensation and stays on compensation, we assess the needs and then we work specifically with business and industry in getting programs set up for troubled employees. For instance, we have the Employee Assistance Program in this community that works with 63 businesses, industries, and governmental agencies that send their troubled employees to us regardless of their problem for counseling, evaluation, and then referral. Here's the firebox here, and we open the firebox up, the fire takes place, the burning in here, and then the hot... Mark, the farmer produces about five to, t to ten times as much energy as required to grow the crop on the farm. And what we're trying to do is build conversion systems that will take this energy that is normally left in the fields, such as corn stalks, which is half the energy produced, and we're going to make uh, ethanol out of it, which will substitute for gasoline. Gases go out here, and here's the fan here, and then the grain bin is located there, and uh, that's where the burning takes place. Well, there's a good many of the wells out there that are unsafe for two reasons. Uh, some of them are contaminated with bacteria, but we find that those lots are so small that uh, they've had previous and septic tanks on that the nitrate count is uh, real high and uh, they're contaminated, so we don't think they should be safe, no. I don't question that. Uh, so they just, I don't want Well, my recommendation to the city has been that it only be to supply their uh, existing population and to handle the health problems that they uh, now have, but not to allow for future growth.
of the coin. The team that wins the toss, uh, now the hacks, I might as well start with them, the hacks are the holes in the ice. And the beginner won't spar. As a matter of fact, I'm from Manitoba, and I start purely anywhere from the top of the house, anywhere out to the hog line. All right, we've got to All right, turn it last minute. Okay. Their names are the skip who is actually the boss of the team, I guess is the best way to describe it. The third, who if the skip dies or gets killed or happens to go down to throw his rocks, the third then takes his place at the other end of the rink. You have a second and you have a lead. And done, controlled research has shown that the curling rock can travel as much as 12. We had approximately 5,200 more people in the, in the uh, labor force in this area last year. Five years ago, Iowa was the fourth state to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment, and not long after, the push for a state ERA made its mark. And today, Iowans are debating over whether they want the ERA contained in their state or U.S. Constitution. Equal rights for what? Anything in mm -hmm. particular? I think all the rights to uh that that thing would do or give us, uh, I think they're already protected by the Constitution. I believe that equal rights for women should be for job equality, basically, is the only thing that I know about it. I'm really not sure about it. In our line here, we have the CATS heaters, which are made in three types. They have one that is installed in the lower heater hose, or radiator hose, excuse me, one in the side of the engine by replacing a frost plug, and we have one that goes into the heater hose line. 
Of these three types, they're all thermostatically controlled. Probably the easiest for the average customer and consumer to install would be your inline heater hose type, Darkus. Basically for the reason there's less antifreeze to be drained, uh, it's a little easier to install it than it is to cutting into, we'll say for instance, the bottom radiator hose or removing a frost plug from the side of the engine. What about the dipsticks? Well, this used to be a very popular type of heater for cars, but there's disadvantage to it. The average person doesn't realize the fact that the heater after being inserted has to be pulled back a little bit. Number two in the morning, there's what do you do with the problem of the hot dipstick? and it's building these. Now these projects were the music building, and so it divided the library edition into two of us to do the planning for the next. So we are still going to push. It's hard going this far, but it isn't nearly far enough on our capital needs and our first push. It's really quite a shocking statement to think that because we in the past have thought of Iowa as a, as a traditionally a, a rural state and a farm state, to think that farm income now takes third place, uh, not only to non-farm income, but also to transfer payments, which includes welfare and Social Security. And it, it's something that I don't think any of us had even thought of, but, uh, so it is a shocking statement. If students are having symptoms of the flu, I'm advising that they uh, stay home and get plenty of bed rest and drink fluids. Um, aspirin may help for uh, pain of sore throat or a slight temperature. If the symptoms are lasting four days or longer or if the sore throat gets worse, then I, I'm advising them to see their physician for a throat culture. Medical officials say there aren't any preventative steps to take to prevent these outbreaks, so it looks like they're here to stay. The only good news is these outbreaks are seasonal, and they should start peaking out later this month and in early February. Brett Voorhees, News 5.
room two to the high of four gives me that as his thing. On this um, system here, we will have four channels that will be used for different things. Um, all the staff and administration people will be on one channel. They won't be crowding the fire channel. The fire channel will be used for fire dispatching only. And we also have a medic channel, which in time will probably be used for the um, medic squads. That will take them off the fire channel. And then we have what's called the talk around channel that uh, men will use themselves at each fire they're on to talk around amongst themselves that will not bother the fire channel. So it gives us greater flexibility in um, handling all the fire problems in the city of Des Moines.